mean, we at Bristow get to do a, a lot of fun things. We, we operate in a cool industry, uh, really fun business, but some days are cooler than others. Uh, this is a really exciting time. We're absolutely thrilled uh, to have Kyle and the beta team here today and uh, give, give them a chance to show you uh, what they're up to. We truly believe that the electrification, electrification of flight uh, will be the, the next radical transformation of the aviation industry. As the global leader in vertical flight, we want to be a leader. It is, it's a pretty remarkable thing if you pull the lens back for a click and say they got ahead of this industry and what was exceptionally insightful in my opinion is they didn't get ahead of the industry and then wait for people to come to them. They went out and actually affected the, the, the industry itself. They gave us a huge amount of insight on the design of the aircraft and not directly, but indirectly in the form of nice to have and, and, and actually in this hangar as we walk through with all the maintainers here, how to structure our business, how to think about maintainability, reliability. We're gonna go out and we're gonna watch Aaliyah Beta Technologies fully electric aircraft take to the skies. Super excited to be here with the Bristow Group, uh, exhibiting a uh, all-electric aircraft and uh, really following the lead uh, of Dave and Chris of creating a sustainable future for aviation that's low noise, zero emissions, and uh, and just a, a pleasant flying experience at a lower cost. And and just thrilled to be here, learning from them how they operate the aircraft, incorporating that into the design, and then ultimately delivering aircraft for their operations. So in general, bringing it to Bristow, we've learned how important maintenance and safety is. And that's where we've focused our development efforts. Uh, bringing it to this area, we've been operating in this area for about three months, uh, evaluating the salt fog environment, high temperature environment, humid environments, specifically on the control electronics. Um, and we've had really good success. We've had 100% dispatch rates across the last 92 flights. Well, I, I couldn't even sleep last night. I was so excited about this. I mean, I believe this is the first electric aircraft to come to Louisiana and come to South Louisiana, specifically here in Houma, to demonstrate to a really important industry how we can build a sustainable future for it. And, it, and having a partner like Beta and Kyle and his team, it's just, it's just, it's just re very rewarding for someone like me who's been in this industry for 40 years. We get to transform it in an effective way. Helicopters are very efficient, they're great. We've done the best we can with them, but they do vibrate, they're loud. The, the cabin environment is not what you would expect in a commercial aircraft, and we're gonna provide them a much more comfortable way of getting to work, or maybe even getting from their bases instead of driving their vehicles to here. Uh, and then back to the aviation nerd in me, I, I mean, how often or how many people get a chance to be part of a real revolution of an industry? And, and being part of that and being part of the leaders in it is just, it's just vastly rewarding. We're extremely excited to have Beta here today and their all-electric Aaliyah aircraft. It's an important day in the history of Bristow. It's an important day, not just in the history of aviation in South Louisiana, but I think for industry in South Louisiana. This represents the future, and we're very excited to be part of that. This new technology is here today. This is a real operating aircraft with us today. It flew in the skies over Homa today. So it's here. In terms of production scale, the future is not far off. At Bristow, we expect within the next year or so to have taken delivery of our first of the Aaliyah aircraft, which is a very exciting time as we look to introduce all electric aircraft into our world fleet. Well, I'm thrilled the weather was as good as it was, and uh, this was the first demonstration of an electric airplane out of the Homa Terrebonne Airport. Uh, this particular model from Beta, the Aaliyah, is probably the farthest along in development of anyone in the country. Uh, Bristow has five uh, with deposits on them, a total of 50 
uh, with letters of intent. And uh, these will be the first aircraft to uh, go into operation uh, here in our uh, local area. We're looking forward to having them. Well, it puts home on the map as uh, being a leader in aviation development. And uh, we uh, have been looking for new things to reinvigorate our economy. And this is a new uh, direction that we can go in. Uh, you may also be aware that there are uh, training programs being set up uh, by Fletcher and uh, with uh, Louisiana Tech coming down here to give our uh, citizens uh, the opportunity to uh, move into new fields that maybe they hadn't thought about before. I, you know, everybody knew as I was coming through my campaign, I'm a tech guy. And so always look at technology as an opportunity to diversify our economy. And you know, the fact that they, these two companies are coming together to demonstrate this in Terrebonne Parish, I think is amazing. You know, it really, it really is really a look into the future of what the possibilities are. And when you look at uh, equipment like this, you look at you know, where are you building it, what is supporting it. Uh, when you look at everything from the flight systems, the computer system, the batteries, you know, this stuff has to be manufactured, it has to be maintained, it has to be supported. So there's opportunities for us to take our industry, an area into a whole new industry that doesn't currently exist. And so I love the economic development opportunities with a project like this. I think, again, this is an amazing opportunity for diversifying our economy, and uh, Terrible Parish is on board for whatever we can do to help move this forward. Thank you.